Thank you so much for taking a few minutes off recording your new album. We hope it'll be as good as your latest album, The Imagine Project, which sets up a very ambitious goal of setting world peace. What is music's role in the peace building process? Uh, the, the Imagine Project definitely was about uh, peace through global collaboration. Uh, I happen to be in the music field of jazz, and, and jazz uh, has demonstrated for many, many years uh, that it is a, an, exa an example of, of the use of, of music uh, to encourage people of different cultures to, to come together. It, it's an, it, a universal language. And so it doesn't need translation. Jazz has been recognized for many, many years uh, internationally, but uh, it hasn't been given yet the designation as uh, um, uh, uh, by an organization of the esteem of UNESCO. But at this point, I have had the approval of establishment of the establishment of of an International Jazz Day, which will be uh, April 30th, uh, every year. I was just reading your blog about your first ever UNESCO mission in Cambodia and Indonesia last month. What UNESCO World Heritage Site marked you the most there and why? You know, I always have a, a hard time picking one out of many when there's so many incredible sites that I saw in, in both uh, Indonesia and Cambodia, uh, starting with uh, Borobudur Temple. Uh, that was uh, uh, amazingly um, uh, uh, e exciting experience to, to see that temple and to see the restoration work that's uh, an ongoing process. And, and uh, what uh, amazed me about the whole process of restoring these um, these historical sites is their impact on uh, not only the the cultural fabric of of the country, but it's also uh, educational for the for young people uh, to know their history. Um, many of those sites have built into the stones the stories about their, their past from uh, various kings, from various religions. And in the case of, of uh, Cambodia, it was um, Buddhism and, and, and also Hinduism. The same thing with, with uh, Indonesia. Um, and so those stories are... are are part of this educational fabric for young people. How do you connect your commitment to peace with your decision to become a Goodwill Ambassador at UNESCO? I don't define myself anymore as being a musician. Uh, I define myself as being a human being. And I'm much more interested in uh, the idea or the perspective of serving humanity in as many ways as as I possibly can, you know, uh, in an infinite number of ways, if if, if you will, uh, as as far as I can stretch. So um, I'm much more interested in, in continuing to be a, a student of life, and and not uh, just be a, a a teacher of life. Yes, I've lived many many years. You know, I'm. I'm 71, I'm almost 72 years old, but uh, there are always things to learn from, from those who will, who will be carving out our, our future. And those are, 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 are people from the younger generation.